Uh, okay, this one I will show you how to generate parametrically varying, which means what this means, parameter means height, width, and length. Height, width, and length, and scale. And pretty much that's it, but I will kind of introduce you how to do that using just simply one input curve, using it. So this one is more generative approach. So I need a <coughs> one input curve, which is basically a curve on the bottom. So I'll just simply, I will uh, select it using curve. And then I'll connect it with this curve. So our input is ready. And then well, I'm going to move it up. So I'll use move and then connect to geometry. So actually we exercised this one before. How can I move multiple times? And actually I'm a little bit introducing something different. <coughs> what I demonstrated last week was actually I extrude x, y, z from a vector and then manipulate one of them and then reconstruct x, y, z into a vector and we used it. But this one is a little bit cumbersome. So I will change another, I will introduce another one called unit vector. Unit vector is, instead of touching all other x and y, in this case, I want to move it up. So all I want to touch is g vector only. So in those cases, so if you want to change one vector, one element of a vector, you may want to use unit vector. So unit vector is just simply type unit. There are unit x, y, z. I'm going to move up. So I will select unit z. The data is, let's check about the result, is simply 0, 0, 1. So this will move the curve 1 inches up. So if I select it, you see that? 1 inches up. But how can it move multiple times? What do I need? How can I generate a, re a, <laughs> a series of repeated number? <laughs> so I will use series. So basically, the basic default series will generate from 0 to 9, actually 10 elements. So simply I connect it. So if I see that, this one repeat 10 times. So let's say how many curves do we need for our column project? So I need 12. So I connect 12 to count. So by doing that, we have 12 curves, and this is 12 inches now. Uh, other than that, I will just make it as default. So this one is how to move using unit z vector. And then let's say I want to rotate then. I kind of I want to rotate one by one. What do I have to use <laughs> to rotate? <laughs> yeah, rotate. So what geometry is actually move geometry. So now. I'm going to use the angle. Actually, we exercised this one first, but so I just type angle, let's say 45 degree, and if I connect it, do you think this one work well? Yes, exactly. So this one requires red. How can I know that this one requires radians or degree? Exactly. Yes. So this one, if you check health file, this one said angle is actually rotation angle in radians. <coughs> How to convert uh, degrees to radians? Radian yeah, radians. So I simply connect degrees to radians and connect it. So now kind of you realize that this one a little bit work similar way to change the angle, right? But now the question is, I want to change one degree each for each curve. For first one is zero, second one is one, third. Okay, let's see. First one one, second one two, third one three. Uh, how can I change that? Plus one. Yeah, plus and one. Plus one. And then how can we do that? Uh, yeah, series. So series will generate from zero to whatever uh, the end number. So instead of using one degree, I will create a series of degrees using series. So I connect series here instead single degree. Let's see. Then actually did not really change that. 
Why? Let's check what is the result. What's going on now here? So series is 1, 2, 3, 4. Radiance is... Actually, there are actually nothing really changed that much. Okay, so now what should I do? But I think this one is so far okay. So series is actually... The problem is... Yeah, series is actually after radiance is changed. So I have to change switch that radiance goes to step actually. So I will re reverse that. So I connect this one here and radiance goes to step actually. And then I will change degrees here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is okay, so first start one is actually zero degrees goes to inside so zero radiance is here uh, let me see so like if I 14 degree this will generate 0 0.24 and then start is probably zero and then each step what this mean is each step will 0 0.2 what does that mean is each step is 14 degrees so now if I want to do it in each step is 10 degrees we need a s number of series which is 0 0.1 radians and how many series do we need? how many numbers we need in series? 12 <coughs> so I connect far away from 12 to the count and if you see that this one is rotating 10 degrees each So I will repeat again. So first of all, we want to know how much angle do you want to repeat for every angle. So we need to know that value not in degrees but in radians. So I simply change 10 degrees to 0 0.17 radians which is actually 10 degrees. So each step the curve rotates 10 degrees. But what we need is like the number in radians. That's why I convert degrees and radians first and then in series by using series actually we don't really need this one by using series we're using this number to step so this will generate zero zero point one zero point three zero point five but this one is each step in radians but what is this value in degrees 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Any headache? <laughs> okay, let's stop here. I want to make sure that...